So today is the next day after we finally have the Audi home. It's pretty early in the morning. I just kind of threw my clothes back on because I really wanted to work on it and I got really excited. So I went to Canadian Tire and I bought this bumper repair kit. Seems like it has everything we need to be honest. It comes with two bumper fillers, two hardeners, two uh, adhesive promoter wipes, two sheets of 80, two sheets of 180, and two sheets of 320, sorry. And one yellow spreader and one mesh patch. So for 30 bucks, that's pretty worth it. So, so far, I've spent the last 30 minutes to an hour sanding. So first I hit it with the 80, then I hit it with the 180, and then I went 320. Which actually got it really like smooth from the bumps and everything. Like yeah, there's still some areas. I actually found out that this is broken. So luckily, what I do with it, it comes with the mesh. So the mesh just literally overlays on top and it will just give it a nice little repair. So I'm still trying to figure out how I should do that, if I should go from the full bottom or full top. I'm not sure yet, to be honest. It's probably gonna sit like that. As you can see, I took my shoes off, I'm dying. This is a lot harder than it looks, to be honest. So I actually fucked up the first time and I emptied out the whole tube, which actually hardened the entire thing in a matter of like 40 seconds. So luckily this kit comes with two extras that I started using pea size, uh, like uh, whatever, you know, little pea size bunch. So that worked a lot better. Uh, I started ripping off the box because it actually worked really good as a scraper, if that makes sense, you know, using this edge and this edge to like mix and spread evenly. So I'll show you guys, but not really, I'm not going to show you guys because it's going to get sanded then wrapped. But I actually did a pretty good job to be honest. Now I just need to go over it with some sandpaper just to smoothen it and then maybe a little bit of primer and that's it guys. And then uh, I think I'm going to wrap it myself, so stay tuned. All right, just to give you guys a little update, I'm not really sure where this fits in, but we actually completed the front bumper all by ourselves. Pretty cool, you know, like it's not just, you know, throwing money at a build. It's something that I can actually put some sweat and tears into it because I'll tell you what, there were some tears. I'm just joking, but also some sweat. So we wrapped it. We did some body work. I filmed a little bit, so I'll add a little bit of clips before this, but it actually turned out really good because I have a really cool mentor, Automotive Elegance. So we wrapped that, we wrapped this, we did some body work all here, 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 there, underneath as well. We did some here, we wrapped this side as well. We wrapped that. And that was beautiful, I think we started at like, 11 and it is now 3 p.m. So what is that like five hours? Pretty good for five hours to get it kind of complete and ready Now I need to go to Raptors and get them to wrap this section and that section in pearl white and We will be pretty much good to go soon to put decals on I might get them to redo the hood because the white on that one ends a little earlier but I'm not sure yet. I'm still debating on it because it actually flows pretty nice, like like that. And then, uh, yeah, guys, I, I think I'm gonna do an aero kit before we go to uh, Euro Classic, but we need both cars registered and ready to go. So, thank you for watching, and uh, next stop, Raptors. Cheers. <laughs>